Being a quantitative analyst or data scientist is one of the most exciting career choices at the moment and will be in the future. Watch the rest of the video to see what other quantitative analysts at various business units in NetBank have to say about being a quant at NetBank. There obviously needs to be some foundational knowledge in place. Um, so two that pops into mind is mathematics, a good understanding of that, as well as statistics. Um, but we see a lot of additional skills coming through in, in this space. So, so coding is becoming more and more relevant. Um, and the reason for that is because we're starting to explore more open source type of platforms. So you will hear the word Python, you'll hear the word R. You don't need to understand it just yet but know that it is changing the world in, in this environment. So do yourself a favor, read up about Docker, read up about containers, and know that the world of developers and the world of advanced analytics is coming together to create incredible experiences for our clients. So most people that tend to be analytical or um, like to do maths and statistics do believe that going into a certain role like a CI is the way to go without knowing the possibilities that a quant can do and be. Um, being a quant doesn't just mean you do statistics and modeling, you can do it, be a data scientist. If you have a problem solving mentality and you like figuring out what's causing issues, definitely consider being a quant. I'm going to answer it in, a, in an interesting way, not saying these are the jobs available, but rather stating that it's become a lot broader than it was in the past. When I reflect on my career here at NetBank, it started very much in an isolated credit risk environment, and that is no longer the, the status quo. We see quantitative analysts or data engineers, data scientists, uh, pick your poison, um, that cascade right across the, the value chain. So it's about data and data-driven insights and turning those strategies into operational environments and then unlocking value for, for NetBank as a whole. At NetBank specifically, uh, a quant can work in any space uh, because every decision nowadays needs to be backed by uh, research, needs to be backed by analysis. analysis. So even HR nowadays is starting to, to hire clients. In marketing spaces, to come up with a product that's best suited to the customer, because customers are different. And to deliver the I know you principle that we're driving at, you need to go into the data, understand each customer for who they are, and create the product that best uh, suits that customer and speaks to that customer. I think we always talk about attitude very broadly. And I'm going to do exactly the, the same. So a good attitude is becoming more and more relevant than, than ever before. I think in fact where in the past we might have recruited people based purely on academic backgrounds, attitude is becoming a lot more important. So it's not the guys with the best marks succeeding anymore, it's the ones that can think critically, the ones wanting to challenge the status quo and the ones wanting to make a difference in, in this environment. Oh, goodness. Um, the biggest portion I love about being a quant is the satisfaction you get when after you received a deliverable to do with a very high level spec, um, not sure how you're going to get to it, taking the data, manipulating it, seeing what you can get from it, and at the end delivering something to the stakeholder that actually makes it different and can be used within the bank. I think the opportunity in, in, in the bank as a, as a quantitative analyst or data scientist is it's like being a trusted advisor, you know. They come to you, they want to know what, what, what's next, what's down the line. And, and I think it's, it's a great responsibility that one carries as a quantitative analyst. And when we go into a cubicle, we may not necessarily, you know, appreciate this. But the business always come back to us and say, what next? What should we do? How should we move? You know, what strategies? How should, we, how should we inform our strategies? All of that is the work that we do, looking at trends, looking at how the economy is moving and informing business to say, take this decision, try this, try that. And I think I really enjoy that, you know, having the, the bank on my shoulders, feel like I'm Superman. <laughs> What you're often given is only an end goal that is, that is 
being sought after, and you're given a, a, a whole heap of data. To take the data and get to the end goal is up to you. You're not necessarily being given a roadmap to follow. You need to create that roadmap. So I think the, the first thing to note is that it's an incredibly sought after skill set at the moment. So for us, particularly in banking and the financial industry, um, that is an obvious one but it's extending past that to other industries as well. So when I think about it, and I think about it in a lot of ways, I can't think about a single industry where advanced analytics or the quantitative analyst skill set can't add a significant amount of value. If you have an undergraduate or postgraduate qualification in mathematics, statistics, engineering, actuarial science or CFA and you are looking for a great opportunity as a quant analyst at NetBank, visit our website and go to the careers page.